Hey there guys and gals and wonderful YouTubers. Welcome guys. Today I just grabbed this game, Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. I know it's been out for quite a while. I just grabbed it today. It was on sale. I believe it was on sale because they just released the uh, DeLorean DLC. So I assume they wanted to grab this uh, or set this up for sale. So I decided to grab it. Um, it seems pretty educational for myself because I am not mechanically inclined. Uh, when it comes to computers and stuff, I know a lot about computers, but cars, I absolutely don't know anything. The only thing I basically know how to do is do like oil change. So I, in fact, this has been on my radar for a while and was kind of waiting for it on sale. So I grabbed it with the uh, gold edition with uh, four of the DLCs. So let's go ahead and jump in here. I did play a little bit today, probably maybe like an hour or so. So I'm a little bit more familiar. I'm actually a little bit more educated now. Let's go ahead and click a new profile. So I know a little bit more than I did before when I started this. So yeah, it's actually uh, kind of paying off. Um, it's probably not going to make me go out there and actually uh, work on cars, but um, I'll know where certain parts are at now on cars. Um, before, I didn't know anything. Like I said, I have absolutely nothing. And that's perfectly fine. It's This is a perfectly good simulator to try that out and um, actually learn some stuff. So that's perfectly fine here. So let's go ahead and jump in here. We know all this stuff here. Oh, we got the phone ringing. Let's go on ahead over here and check out the phone here. So I did grab the other edition, uh, Car Mechanic 2014, right after I got this. I mean, it was for 69 cents for the whole uh, uh, pack in the DLCs. I, I wanted to go ahead and try that one out too, and I kind of enjoyed it. It was pretty fun here, but um, I actually like this one a lot better. So definitely. So this menu you can view all the waiting orders. Yeah, we know this. Um, did we go with, oh, we got a phone call again here. Let me see here. Let me double check something here, guys. I think I'm on, um, beginner here. Uh, yes, beginner. Expert mode, I think I want to do that later on. That would be awesome. I think but be beginner is just like it'll like highlight things and when you get um, cars coming in it'll actually tell you kind of what that needs to be fixed which is kind of cool. Uh, the only reason why I'm checking this right now is because every time I started a new um, profile it's been having me do like oil changes and whatnot. Um, actually you know what let's pause it here and I'll be right back guys. Okay guys, I just had to make a new profile and just, um, I was just wondering because um, every time I create new profiles, it was giving me oil change, but I guess this is kind of random here uh, with the different stuff in here, so that's fine. So let's actually put new timing parts, because uh, normally the first ones that I've been getting were, like I said, oil changes and something like that, so just making sure it's not... I didn't know this was kind of random. I thought this was more like a tutorial in the beginning, but that's perfectly fine here. So let's go ahead and move this to, I guess I already know this, the lifter over there. Hopefully that, that is not too loud for you guys here. So it's timing parts, so we can go evaluate this. Yes, repair orders. We need uh, water pump, timing belt, belt, Tensioner. So I have actually done one of these before, so it's not going to be too confusing. Let's go check out the phone. I'm going to load both of these up here and see uh, what this one is. Lack of engine power. Let's actually take that one. So, yeah, some of these I'm too I'm familiar with now. Uh, when I first started it, I was really confused. Actually, I wasn't too confused. I kind of find where the parts were. But now, I'm perfectly fine now. Right lifter. Let's go check this one. Uh, that was actually easy. Fuel pump. We can actually uh, fuel pump. I don't know if I actually done that yet on this. 
with that fuel filter fuel pumps down here I think yes I know disassembly uh, let's see if I remember where the fuel pump is here I think it's ABS pump throttle starter Um, there's actually examine mold. Maybe it will actually check broken parts. Yes, yes. Don't see anything. Uh, like I said, this is all new to me, guys. Might actually, that's the alternator, water pump, power steering pump. Uh, could it actually be inside here, ABS pump? Okay, we'll have to go check this guy out here. Timing belt. I've actually done that. Well, actually, what, what was it? Water pump, timing belt, belt tensioner. That's actually pretty easy I've done that before we can see the parts right there they're kind of rusty take the belt tensioner off so yeah I'm very familiar with this now I'm gonna take the uh, serpentine belt a off take that one off Okay, what was the other thing we needed? The uh, Tommy Belt water pump. Okay, we know where that's at. That, I think I just took that off, didn't I? Should have that. Belt tensioner. Timing belt. Timing belt, that's inside here. I know that for sure because I've done one of these before. So yeah, I think this is a pretty cool game, or simulator. I mean now, like I said, I don't know if I could fix stuff in real life because of this, but I know where things are going to be at now, in a general idea. So, time, timing belt, examine mode, okay, see how that works, because in um, Car Mechanic 2014 you used like a little magnifying glass so let's go by the parts uh, water pump that's a V8 we need this one um, timing belt which was this one and what was that other one that we needed? Belt tensioner. There we go. <clears throat> and I could probably just sell this stuff. I don't need it. junk it I guess I guess that's what you do with it and let's put all this stuff back on here I need to go assembly mode right yes I know assembly mode is thank you all right let's uh, right click yes timing belt on put the cover on Yeah, literally, um, today when I was doing an order, I don't know what the part was. 
It was something I didn't know, and I ended up taking apart the whole engine. It was kind of a good thing, though. I got to see different parts in the engine. But it just took forever to do it. And it ended up not being something in the engine. It was something on the outside, like... Oh, I wish I remember what it was, guys. So that's good to go. So, yep, check, check, what's the stars mean? Well, I guess we can highlight stuff with that. Finished job. So, spent 250, we got, uh, yep, that's pretty good. Now we gotta figure out this one here. Fuel pump. Now if I do that, I think it should highlight the part, I think. H. Oh yeah, there it is, way in the back. Actually, can I access? No, probably can't from the trunk. Probably have to raise it. Uh, symbol. What's going on here? Why is this on now? Is that because of the star or what? Okay, um, alright, let's see. Oh, there we go. Can I see from here? Let's fuel tank. Might have to bring it down, I guess, to see it properly. Fuel tank, fuel pump. All right. Let's go get a fuel pump. I know the fuel filter is in the back, I think, sometimes. So I didn't think it was going to be back there. So, yeah, that's something I didn't know about. And I think it's this one. Wait, wait, wait. We did the fuel pump, right? Yes. Looking at check there. I mean, it would have been no big deal if I did the filter. I will eventually probably end up using it somewhere. All right, let's see. Some of this camera angle mode is a little weird. All right. That guy is done, guys. That wasn't too bad. 240 out of that. Let's go ahead and sell that part. See what else we got here, guys. Uh, engine power has failed. Car is hard to control. Well, that's all we could do. We can't do these other ones. These are like DLCs, so we need that much experience, and we're pretty low in experience. So we'll take both of these jobs here and work on these two cars. And once we'll get it on a lift, I can actually let you know if I actually done these before. It's hard to tell with the when it's in the uh, phone here. Of what exactly needs to be done I mean I'm sure you guys probably know but I don't know myself being a noob being a new guy and we can't we keep fixing these little cars here I guess all right let's check this out here I always open the hood I don't know why steering rack okay well it gives me idea it's somewhere down there Figure that out. What's this one? Fuel pump again. Oh, that's easy. I can probably just do that really quick here. So grab a fuel pump. We'll get this one out of the way here.
And bam, that one's done. Wow, I'm an expert uh, mechanic now. I can just do it like that here. Uh, let's see what else they got to offer here. I just want to keep these um, lifts full. Replace all filters. Fix and fix all your problems. Let's take job here. This one should be easy. For all I know, the other one's probably pretty easy. Let's go check that one out. All right. Put you on the lift and we'll go ahead and check this guy out again. So steering rack. Hmm. That's probably going to be somewhere down under here, I guess. Oh, yeah. I see it right there. Steering rack. So do we have to disassemble? So that means I think these red things mean that I need to detach. So I got to take the wheels off, I assume. Now, what the heck is this? Is this like rust or something? It's a little weird. Let's go ahead and take the other tire off. Alright, now, yeah, we gotta, actually, I probably didn't need to do that. I can just take the tie rod off here. Well, it's good I can get in there and see it. Sure, in real life, they probably do that. Steering rack. Hmm, okay. Probably can't do that on that side. I wonder if I can turn these HUDs off, that would be really nice. Turn you off. Okay, um, what is it saying here? Access from under the car, okay. I got that. Here we go. Let's go ahead and order that part. Steering rack. Wow, that was pretty bad. 5%. I don't know what happens if that goes out. You basically lose steering, I guess. $800 part. Wow, yeah. There we go. Let's see if I can assemble the other parts from here. I don't think I can. Yeah, I can see them right there. I can. There we go. Camera's a little wonky in here. Takes a little bit getting used to. Pop you on there. So now what is this called? That's what a tie rod was. I always wondered what a tie rod was. I think I my wife had that replaced on her car recently, and I was kind of wondering what that was. Huh. Now I know what that is. Old rusty old rims. Okay, 
Oh, assemble more. Okay, getting there. I'm getting there. And tie rod. Awesome. I think we're done with that. We're done with that, guys. We still have time to do this last one here. Drop her down from the lift here. Uh, oh, we made some pretty good money on that one. Now this one wants air, all the uh, filters changed. So probably oil, air, and fuel filter. Oil filter 14. Let's go ahead and get those. See if I can type filter in here. See if it just brings up filter. Uh, filter this one. Need a fuel filter. Air filter. All right. Okay, that doesn't snap off apparently. Oh, we gotta get the clips. Okay. One I had to change, I don't know if it was in uh, this one or a different car. I had to like take up whole assembly off just to get the air filter. I think it was um, Car Mechanic Simulator 2014, or yeah, is that it? 14? Oh, I clip these on. Uh, am I missing something? Oh. <laughs> Now what's next? Uh, oil filter, which is down below. Uh, fuel filter might be back here. Might be underneath in the back. I'm going to lift it anyways. Okay, we'll have to come back to that one. Oh, I think I see it. It's right there. Oh, okay, interesting. Thought it might have been there. Might so I have to get up in the engine again. That's fine. We need to take down this. Uh, clean the oil out. Okay. Fuel filter. Where are you, my buddy? There you are. See you. Symbol. There we go. And we're good to go. We gotta put oil in her. You guys thought I was gonna forget to put the oil in here. I, yeah, 
I've done that once. 10W30 premium motor oil makes an awful noise. Okay, let's check the uh, dipstick. Right, good to go. And $132. Not bad. So let's load up these uh, lifters before we leave. So yeah, guys, it's a pretty good game. I like it. I, I would consider, like I said, a simulator. It's pretty good here. Let's start on this computer here. Kind of wish there was like some sort of encyclopedias for guys like me that don't know anything. Fix, find and fix all engine problems. I guess I have to take that one and the other one too. We'll set these on the rack. See what happens, guys. Put your lifter. And engine power has failed. I'm interested. I'm going to see what those are. We're going to check these out. And I'm going to actually look around the uh, garage a little bit here. Didn't get too much time to do that before. I'm kind of curious of what's accessible. A uh, radiator, piston with conrod, oil pan, crankshaft. Oh, that's something different. I never done this one. It's actually gonna be pretty interesting. What's this one? Fuel rail DI dial. I don't know. Um, hmm, that's gonna be interesting too. I never done that one either. So these are two different ones I've never done before. So we'll save that for another episode. So I guess there's toolboxes. Check once in a while. You will get points for each 10,000 experience you earn. Or uh, not 10,000, 1,000. Oh, that'd be nice to get the tablet so I don't have to go back to the computer. Fast manual examination. Okay. Fast assembly. To sim Fast on, on Bolton. I like that one. Repair tools. OBS scanner. That'd be cool. Compression tester. Wow, there's going to be some really interesting stuff here. Probably when we get into the um, um, expert mode, which that would be pretty awesome because then you have to figure out what's wrong with it. That's the same thing. I assume these toolboxes are all the same. Uh, performance DLC. I guess there's another garage that would open up in there or something. Um... Yeah, I need my encyclopedias or some, some something. Repair body frame. Hmm. I don't know what these are. Tire balancer. This is how you take the tires off. As you can tell, guys, this all this stuff is. I don't know what that is. Some of that stuff. Repair table. There's a repair table. I guess that's how you exit and go to Oxygen Center. Okay, that's pretty cool. We'll check that out later. Custom garage. Okay, we can do all that. That look make the garage look nice. Waiting area. So yeah, this looks pretty cool. I'm actually liking this. This looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's very educational, especially for me, like I said, I know absolutely nothing about cars or mechanic. I'm not very mechanically inclined. Um, some people are like that. Some people are very mechanically inclined, but not uh, computer savvy. Um, I'm computer savvy. I can build computers. I can diagnose them. I know usually what's wrong with them. Slap an operating system on it, repair them really fast. But when it comes to cars, I don't know anything about them or anything mechanically. So I think this is going to be really cool so I can actually learn some of this stuff here. So, alrighty, guys, thanks for joining me here. And we'll definitely try to see you next time. If you guys want to see some more of these episodes here, just let me know in the comments below and we'll do some more car mechanic. So, alrighty, guys, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time, guys. Bye bye.